Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your surveying problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to merge um, raster data, right? Good. So we have um, digital elevation models that we downloaded and we are using them um, ArcGIS on today's tutorial. So we have about um, four sheets here, which we want to merge into what a single raster, right? Good. So there's a documentary here. Um, S3 recommends preserving the original raster data sets wherever possible. So the mosaic tool and the mosaic to new raster tool with an empty raster data set as the target data set are the best choices to merge raster data sets, right? Good. So this is like a summary that we got from what the um, S3 support website. So because of that, we are going to use one of the two recommended um, tools, which is um, the Mosaic to new raster tool on today's tutorial. So for us to assess that, it's very simple. We just come down to search and then we just type um, Mosaic to new raster tool, right? Good. So we have um, Good, so we have a mosaic to new raster tool, then we just search for that. Good, so we have um, different options being returned. Let's look at the first one. Good, so we have what the mosaic to new raster tool window opened. And here we need to impute what the raster, the, the input rasters are those rasters that you want to merge, right? Good, so there's a drop down here. This drop down contains the number of rasters you have. We have about four of them here, so we can just be clicking on each one of them to add the respective um, um, rasters that we want to merge into what the input um, raster um, field, right? Good. Ensure to read them um, the brief description on each of these fields like on the input raster There is a brief description here. Then let's look at what the output location now the part contains the raster data set the part Can be a folder or a geodatabase. We are going to use a folder in this particular case, right? So we click on um, Folder connections Good, so we want to um connect of connected it to a folder called a um, merge raster then the raster data set name extension the raster data set name with extension the name of the data set you are creating there are different file extensions here but we are going to use what we are going to use tiff so let's see merge.tif so that's the extension we are going to use so there are different extensions here which you can use right good so dot tif that's what we are using then the special reference for for the raster the raster data set we have here let's um, right click and then come down to the properties so um general we can just scroll down to see the the crs we have mwgs 1984 right good so we are going to also make the we are going to specify that under this field so we come down to geographic we go to world and then we select them um, wgs 1984 we click on ok then now for the pixel type it's actually optional but let's still come back to the properties of this particular um, data we have now the pixel type we saw it good we have what the signed um, integer and then the pixel depth is what 16 bit right good so we are going to see where and it's actually what tiff so we are going to see how we are going to good so we have pixel type we saw 16 signed or signed 16 right good so 16 bit signed and then the number of band um we are going to say one then the mosaic type you know the number of bands that the output will will, will have then for the mosaic type there are different descriptions for each of the options the first last blend and rest of that right good so let's go with them um, let's say blend and then for the mosaic um, color map mode there are there's a description or a brief description for what each of them means right good so now let's go with um let's go with match right good so as you're trying to select each of these options you can just make do with the brief descriptions that are here to help you or let's to guide you so having fixed all of those we can just click on ok so the the merging or the mosaicing is being done right good 
good so we have what uh, merged um, them or let's say the merge raster so if you look at the values you know these values can give you a brief uh, insight to how the merging was done if you look at the individual um, rasters you are going to see their elevations um, ranging from i think the list is 176 and then the highest is um, 1459 right good so now on the merge there you can see the lowest to be 174 which is a bit lower than the list we saw here and then the highest is what um 1470 which is a bit higher than what the 1459 that we saw here so this actually shows that this are merged them is a true composite of these um four let's say rasters that we have right good so if we decide to put out this them okay and then try to okay let's just put this one out and then you see now that since one of these um raster is put out and then we put on this our meshed you can see that it covers for that space because the the composite is now covering what those other units part of it right good so when we put out all of these other units we can still see what okay we still have this um sheet one on we can now see our merge them right good so we can also change the symbology um the color ramp right good that symbology let's use them um, something like this and then we click on okay so we have what a different symbology for or for the composite or let's say for the merge what for the merge raster so thanks for coming to class we hope uh, we've provided solution to this particular gis problem we are going to see you on the subsequent video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.